In this video, I'm going to show you how to force DLSS 4 in the NVIDIA app. So it means once you boot a game, it'll be using the new DLSS 4 model instead of the old one. The first thing you need to check is you need to make sure that you're on the latest driver. So at the time of recording this video, the latest driver for me was the 30th of January, which is 572.16. Once you've done that, you just need to come into graphics here. I'm going to select Metro Exodus here because I'm pretty sure that supports DLSS 4. There is a list of the games that are supported. Uh, on the NVIDIA website. This also should work for all RTX GPUs. You can see I'm currently on my RTX 4080 Super, um, but you just need to come down to here where it says DLSS Override Models Preset. Click on that, click on this drop down here, and then select the latest, which once I apply that, it'll mean when you boot the game, it'll boot with the latest DLSS 4. There is a way to double check that it's working. So if I click back on that, um, down here where it super, says Super Resolution, which is your standard DLSS upscaling, you can see that it's loading the game up with the latest DLSS version. What I thought was also quite cool is if you come down to DLSS override here, you can actually force DLAA. You've got these two settings here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I am hearing there seems to be issues where it's unsupported for people when they're going into this. So they come down to where it says DLSS models preset here. It just says unsupported like it does here. Now, from what I can see and, and read around online, there seems to be three ways in which you can fix this. The first one is if you come up to the three dots here, which is like the settings, and you just hit refresh, that should refresh and update all the list of games and everything you've got. And that seems like it fixes it for some people. The second thing to try is to completely reinstall the NVIDIA app, which also seems to fix it for some people. And the third one is just to DDU your drivers completely, but make sure when you do it that you're in safe mode with no internet connection. Um, that also seems to fix the issue for some people. So uh, let me know in the comments if you're still having issues with it and we'll see if we can maybe try and figure it out and get it working. But if this video has been helpful, drop a like on the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time.